Alrighty then, trying to reconnect to Facebook. It says I'm connected. I try to go live. Let me remove Facebook. Son of a bitch. And there we go. All right, live on YouTube. Successful Indie Author, 5-Minute Focus, Episode 265. What is the right number of books to have in a series? you got to ask yourself, are they still selling? And if they're still selling, can you extend the series? And if you've written the series as uh, just a trilogy, a three-book arc, is there room growth? Because it really depends on selling the story to the readers. If the... A uh, series is closed out. Like everybody died, everybody was destroyed. How could you extend it? Well, it bring them back to life and do some creative stuff that uh, that the readers see through. So might not want to do that. But when you're writing a series, especially a, a series that you've invested a lot in, in regards to world building and the characters, people aren't coming back because of the world. They're coming back because of the characters. So it's really a, a challenge to take a series and extend new characters, even though it's in the same universe. People aren't. People may be bought into the universe, but they're really bought into the character. Characters sell the same. characters, push the plot along. So, is there room for those characters to keep doing what they've been doing, even if it's a little bit different, but it's still the same characters because people are bought into that. So, understand where the loyalty to your series comes from. You got to ask yourself: Are they still selling? If they're still selling and there's still opportunity for growth, then why wouldn't you uh, keep that money train rolling? <clears throat> Are you still invested in the characters? This is one thing I uh, I had to close out a series at uh, 19 books because I was just tired of writing the character. I just couldn't write them anymore, even though they were great. And I put cameos into a different series for those characters, but I just couldn't write that main series anymore. And that was... Uh, I was done. Even though those books were still selling pretty well, I just couldn't write them anymore. It was like pulling teeth trying to get uh, trying to get the next story out, and I, I didn't want to do that. And I had 19 books, so there's and they're still selling well. We we put them into box sets, and and they're doing fine. So, and by putting those characters into a second series, a spinoff series, that series is doing really well too because they like them. So let me turn off the uh, camera. Internet's uh, slowing down. There we go. So as you've written, if you've written a complete story arc, is there opportunity for a new story arc? And this is one I do in all my series is I keep an open loop there and some side plots that have opportunity to explore with those same characters. So this is one thing that I think is critical that when you start writing a series, you, you start and you have the end in mind but you don't want to close everything out. You want to close the important stuff out, but not necessarily the uh, whole thing where everything is resolved and there's absolutely no opportunity to move on just in case, because uh, that, that series may become your, your money train. It may become your, your magnum opus, so to speak. And do you want to cast it aside just because, Hey, I, I, Resolved all the side plots. I just didn't want to. I just didn't want to do this when you're bringing more and more fans on board, and they really like the characters. And you also like the characters. But I originally planned it for just three books. That's okay. You can extend it three books, nine books, twelve books. There's all kinds of opportunities without it being contrived, where uh, you have to just come out of the blue. Uh, uh, Deus ex machina, as a, as an example of just something out of the blue. Hey, aliens arrived, and now uh, all this other stuff's happened, and these characters are going to go solve the, solve the problem, save the world. If it wasn't, if that wasn't your original story, because if you switch genres, then it may not resonate with the fans as well. So, <clears throat> if you can't if you can't extend the series, then take what you learned and write a better series next time. Write a new series and make it better. Embrace it, make it your own, and keep add some side plots enough that it's open. I think every one of my series could be continued because I left it a little open here and there. Hey, it's just uh, you can't solve everything because uh, you got to let the readers do uh, explore their imaginations as well and try to figure out, hey, this is what I'd like to see for the ending. Okay, uh, I'm not writing any more books there, so you make up the ending that you like. A spinoff. 
if you have a series that's been successful and you just don't want to write those characters anymore and you, you just said, I'm going to write a spinoff, keep in mind, fans like the world, but they love the characters. A spinoff is a subset of the original, uh, unless it can stand on its own. And this is uh, my Space Lawyer series is a spinoff of that 19 book uh, series that was successful, but they've it's gained its own readership. And this is a very important thing. You've got to make sure that it can stand on its own. Otherwise, you're just getting a subset of the readers of your original series and a subset. So you're never going to make more than your original series because it's a subset. And that's a said, so keep that in mind with a spinoff that it has to also stand on its own, even if it's a subset and the world. And if you can have a character or two from that main series come over, well, then you can bring those readers over as well. So it's a subset, but still stands on its own. And that's how you're going to make uh, good money, keeping those series moving forward. All right. Hopefully the right number, the right number is when you're done writing it and there's no other plots left for it. And the care and, uh, or when the reader's reading, it. so you've written three books, people bought the first book, but they didn't bring the read the second or absolutely not the third book. Then you got to look what was wrong with the first book that they didn't keep reading. Take what you learned, start a new series and, uh, and charge forward. Hopefully that helps with books in a series. Peace, fellow humans.